the primary discussion of this uh, topic would be do we have a responsibility in producing poison free food means uh, there's a common man you and me can we do something to bring poison free food to our tables it's very easy to blame a farmer you know you always whenever we talk about poison and food we tend to say that okay the farmer has sprayed pesticides or used harmful chemicals in the field which is being transferred to our plates we have known this for a, maybe two decades now and we have not been able to act upon this problem now the question is can i and you do something about this to answer this we'll walk through this uh, a set of uh, videos that we plan to produce and the first of the video that we propose to do uh, just now is yes there is there are certain things that we can do and first primary thing that we need to do is have a proper understanding of what is a pesticide a very basic understanding of what is a pesticide for a common man so the word pesticide basically means anything that kills a pest so it can be a side normally means a uh, agent that's used to kill as an in, uh, insecticide or a rodenticide or maybe a weedicide that's used to you know uh, pull down weeds in the farm now uh, a guru of mine who was who had taught me agriculture we learned uh, through some great names that are here in south india and one name was namalwar namalwar taught me primarily that the word pesticide is a misnomer i mean because if you take a little bit of pesticide say a little a small quantity of pesticide and we ingest it mean drink it there is a good possibility that we may get seriously ill or we may even die so what we call pesticide is basically a biocide you know it is a kind of a chemical that can take life not just pests so the first point that we need to understand is pesticide is a misnomer pesticide is basically a biocide it can kill any form of life okay now the next point that we need to realize here is that there is a question that normally people ask is that can we not wash off pesticides it's definitely not possible to wash off all pesticides because pesticides as far as the classification grows is broadly classified into two varieties two forms so one is called a contact pesticide and the other is called a systemic pesticide a contact pesticide as the name signifies kills anything any insect that it comes in contact with so an insect is there on your farm though there are different varieties of chemicals that act in different ways on different plants so once you spray a chemical onto a pest if the pest comes in contact with the pesticide there is a good chance that the pest can get killed it dies so that is a contact pesticide whereas a systemic pesticide is a kind of a pesticide that goes into the tissue of the plant once you spray a systemic pesticide what happens is that the plant in, there is a intake of that uh, chemical substance into the tissue of the plant and there is a lifetime you know there is a time that it survives inside the tissue of the plant so let's say it's 10 days or 15 days depending on the toxicity and depending on the formula of the chemical that's being used so now we have the sorry state in india today that our farmers are not aware of a systemic pesticide let's say a farmer is to harvest lady's finger or any kind of greens or maybe chilies or coriander leaves and you he's going to get a trader who's going to come and see his crop probably to buy it in the next day so if the trader is going to find a lot of worms or pests in the field there is a good chance that you know he might reduce the price of the crop so the farmer with its limited knowledge grabs at anything that's available at his disposal he is really not aware of a contact or a systemic pesticide and the sorry state is that even pesticide dealers the people who actually sell these pesticides are also not aware of what is a contact and what is a systemic pesticide so a farmer just grabs whatever he has leftovers or whatever he has and just sprays it on the crop so once these kind of crops land at our dining tables there is a good chance that these 
over a long period of time or over a period of time can cause serious health hazards to the human body or it can lead to you know serious conditions like cancer also what is it that you and i can do to solve this problem of uh, poison in our foods is there anything that we can do at all is a question so yes there are a couple of things that we can act upon number one would be we can educate people including the farmers as to what a systemic pesticide is a farmer honestly believes that a pesticide can be washed off so this message if that we speak about today if it can reach the farmer saying that a systemic pesticide has something called a toxicity period so if a pesticide is to be used on a crop that is to be harvested say in 10 days or within a week or 10, or maybe within 15 days uh, the farmer needs to have that information saying that a systemic pesticide should not be used during this period believe me farmers are large hearted people any time i visited a farm they are i i ended up you know bringing home lots of uh, coconuts bananas or maybe loads of uh, mangoes they are eternal givers large hearted eternal givers so once we tell them that this is something that need to be they need to be worried about little children old people and the public at large are taking ingesting meaning taking in food that has got this poisonous substance we call a systemic pesticide i firmly believe that the usage of such a pesticide will drastically come down number 2 we need to educate the dealers lot of dealers are not aware of a systemic pesticide if this dealer and the government machinery the officers that are in charge of this you know of taking keeping control of these pesticide shops if these people can educate the dealers and the dealers in turn can give in a word saying that this is what you are taking if a farmer is taking a systemic pesticide he needs to be aware that this systemic pesticide can stay in the system of a plant for so many days so if he if he is going if there is a need for such a pesticide to be used during the harvest time he has to make that decision wisely so i am sure the farmer will find this information very useful and i am sure that if we are able to circulate this message if we are able to talk to every farmer and every citizen that we know about this message it's going to lead to reach to a lot of people and i'm sure will help in bringing the use of the systemic pesticide down